Welcome back everyone. I wanted to make a quick video regarding um, January and I'm looking at these two cards because the tarot card for the year 2024 is the strength card but the card for the hermit I mean I'm, I'm sorry the card for January is the hermit because one plus eight is nine right so I want to look at this just a moment. When we went over this, we talked about, and if you watched my early, earlier video um, on the ending and the beginning, that is when I really got into talking about the energy that we are coming out of in 2023 and the energy that we're going into in 2024. But when we add the month to 2024, we get different cards. So, when we were in 2023, this was about mastering the external factors in our lives. You notice he's not controlling the Sphinx. He doesn't have reins or anything like that. So this is about going forward using his will. He's crowned by the stars. He is connected to the High Priestess card. So including the stream. The stream is supposed to be, you see how, how her robe comes down? All of the water that you see in the cards are all, all supposed to be connected to that spiritual water, that flow that flows through them all. Now, this crowned champion is about achievement, accomplishment, and success. Okay, so this is about gaining that knowledge and gaining that wisdom that you need to go forward. You see, he's outside of the of the um, of the city's walls. You see the castle in the background. So he's outside of that. So that's about going forward on what he has learned to discover something new. The number seven is the seeker of all seekers. So when we go into strength, this changes a little bit because this is where we have gained self-awareness. This is where we are well-educated for what lies before us. We have balanced our animal self with our higher self. The infinity sign here, you see the center, that represents a harmonic balance between the right and left brain, between the masculine and the feminine. So while this was the alchemical fire that set us forth, we are now looking at the vibration of harmony. And there are the harmonic laws. So, on her journey, she has befriended a lion. And she has befriended him to be her faithful companion. Uh, the lion represents the zodiac sign of Leo. And the gold on here, um, in the orange, that is meaning that he pulls his energy from the sun. So, it's a fixed sign. It is the fifth house of pleasure, creativity, self-expression. But here, we are learning to be balanced. Not to let our animalistic side take over, but not allow our intellectual side to take over too. This is about aiming for that balance, to having courage and strength, control of our passions. You can see it looks like she's taming him, right? But look at her face. It's gentle. It's not in, I'll bring it up some so you can see. It's not in a bad or um, a violent way. It's one in a way of understanding. It's one in a way of, of, of guiding. So... 
it's about awakening the peace within okay having strength um, over our own life force energy being in control that's what this is about so when you're out of balance it is about selfishness and it's uh, living in fear and you know I really want to get into that because we have been living in fear for many years well for three years now for sure but I can back that up I've been I've been on this earth for a little bit I do remember the fear as a child the Cold War I remember that of always having fear 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 well fear to me is not like using caution and being aware fear to me is what people use in order to gain control over you if you're scared of it then you won't do it if you're scared of going to hell then you're going to follow these tenets right so in saying that let's go on um so when it's imbalanced it's destructive um it's uh it's um lacking self-discipline and we see that a lot. We see a lot of people, you know, taking things to the extremes. And taking things to extremes, no matter if you're right or wrong, is just as bad. You can be right as rain, but if you're being extreme about it, then, you know, you need to watch out. So, this is about self-mastery. Self-mastery over what it is, how you take things into you, um, out, eating, your body is your vessel. There's a body here. So this is a, go, let's go to our vessel. When you eat food, do you eat food for pleasure or do you eat food to sustain your body? Do, are you giving it the nutrients and, that it needs? Now I understand that everybody has a different economical, um, situation, and I've been in different areas of my life. I've been up, I've been down, and I've I've begged and, you know, that sort of thing. But I've always found a way to eat healthy foods. And I also know how easy it is to eat those unhealthy foods, especially processed foods, the white foods, um, that sort of thing. So it's about taking care, having that self-discipline to choose a, uh, an apple over a candy bar, that sort of thing. This is about se serious self-discipline. You have to be disciplined to know where you're going. And it's about, you know, mastering that lion within you, right? So then we go to the hermit card. Now... The Hermit card is a little different because he is up by himself and he is the archetype that is being guided um, by his by his wisdom. That is what he has learned along the way. And he is up here. He has he's away from everybody. He is shining his own light to lead the way. Now, why this is very important is this. We've had. And, and I'm going to use this card to represent the past three years because I'm, I'm not going to pull the other. The lover's card was six before that. And that was about us being conscious, listening to our subconsciousness and seeking direction from divine. Okay. So then we have to leave what we were taught, what we, the, uh, the um, environment that we grew up in. We were all conditioned no matter if it's good or bad, we were all conditioned in one way or another to think a certain way. And now in January, we come to the hermit who says, it's time to form your own opinion. It is time to unplug from the outside world. And it is time to seek your inner knowledge. It is time to block out the should have, would have, could have. It's time to block out what is being conditioned to us all the time through different shows through different games all the above it is about unplugging from the external to find that inner wisdom within us in order to grow he's up here for heightened spiritual awareness 
Okay, he's up high. And in that, it's saying that he is seeking a higher knowledge. His robe, you can see, normally the robe is blue and it connects to the um, high priestess. And I want to, I really wish I would have got my other cards out because you could really see this. Um, I have a hermit card, let me get it really quick. And it shows it better to me. I like the weight deck, I really do, because it really teaches um, deeper meanings of the tarot. So I uh, teach with this. And once you learn that, then you can look at the other cards and you can go from there. And right now I'm just looking at my other deck trying to find that card. But the Hermit is about, you know, going within. The number nine on this card is about a culmination of all the other numbers that have gone before it. So it's a completion, okay? It is, it is you have come to a certain point. You have, you have done that part. You have, you were the seeker and you learn and you gain that knowledge. And here we go. You can see this one better. If you can see, um, you can see all that I'm trying not to, that light likes to glare on it. See the stars on here? And you see how this is his light. I like this card better versus this card because it's more, I don't know. I, I just, I, I just connect with it more. But again, if you are wanting to start learning, start with this deck. I mean, really learning. But anyway, um, this, he, this is his light that he's using. You can tell that his, the edge of his, um, robe here is tattered. You see, he's come a long way. He's worked hard. I'm just going to move these out of the way and do this. And he has gained a certain amount of knowledge that has really, um, really benefited him. You see, he's gray. He's, he's, um, he's like the sage. Um, the gray that you see, okay, is this is the blending of the different energies of all the, of the white and the dark. And here, he's being illuminated. He is he is being illuminated by, by the, his own wisdom, okay? So, January, and you know, I love the ice on this. I mean, this is just, it's more detailed. I, I just, I like this card. I mean, there's certain decks that I do find that I like certain cards better. There's some I don't like, but with the Hermit card in particular, He's having to put himself above everyone, above the chatter. He's up at the very tops of the mountains where all he can hear is the wind and maybe some birds. But he's alone. And he's taking that time to get out, get out in nature, get out um, wherever you can go. I know right now we're, uh, we're having an Arctic um, blast, but it's about unplugging, turning off the TV, turning off your phone, turning off the games and really sitting with yourself and thinking about what you have learned, especially from the past three years of what has went on, because there has been a lot of fear pumped in that. And there has been, um, there has been a lot of propaganda. There has been a lot of illusions that have been set before us. And now it's time to sit with yourself and figure out what it is you believe. Through all of the great work, you know, being on top of this mountain, that is what the great, the hero's journey is about, is climbing that mountain, right? So here he has done great work. And now it is, he is guiding us to think about this and to awaken our consciousness to a higher 
dimension. It's about rising above. And it's coming, um, you know, he is shining his light. He's casting away the darkness. He is bringing illumination into the dark. Okay? And this is not just wisdom or that illumination. This is healing. He's bringing us great healing. Because when we are confident within ourselves, when we are sure and strong within our foundation, then we can weather those storms. I've heard before, character is built through the storms in your life, not through the um, ease of life. It is built through those storms, the challenges. And that is the way that our character is built. How can you do this? And you have the ability. Let me pull this over here. You have the ability to do that. Within you, stop looking outside of yourself. Don't look outside of yourself for a guru. For I mean, yeah, teachers are great. Trust me, teachers are wonderful. And I, anything that you're getting into, I urge you to find a teacher, a mentor that will help you understand. Because when you're getting to spirituality, when you're getting to a cult and the esoteric studies, it is a very, very vast ocean and it is one that you can really get lost in. Um, I've seen people do harm to themselves. I mean, I'm watching one girl in particular that, you know, she just, bless her heart. I mean, she just can't help herself. It's like, you know, and she won't stop. She won't stop and take a moment and see what's going on because she's too busy at chasing her lust, her passions in a negative way, not in one that's going to be productive. I'm not saying don't chase your passions. What I'm saying to you is make sure it's balanced. Okay? You can't go at it from a selfish way. You have to go at it from a from a, a more intellectually balanced way. So, you know, the hermit is about, you know, uh, getting, getting quiet with yourself, sitting with yourself, connecting to your higher self. The hermit's name, I think his esoteric name says it very well. It's the prophet of the eternal or magus of the voice of power. Oh, that is so power, powerful. Magus of the voice of power. It is learning, learning to make sure that your foundation is strong. Your foundation is unpenetrable. And the only way that you can do that is by knowing who you are. Knowing your truths, knowing where you're going, knowing your weaknesses and knowing your strengths. We all have weaknesses. It doesn't make you a bad person. What makes you a bad person is if you're constantly acting upon those weaknesses and hurting others. There's your problem. I love the tarot because it shows us that we are all here in this journey, in this web of life together, and we are all experiencing this spiritual journey up the, up the mountain of the great work of spiritual awareness. And that is one thing I really love about the tarot and how it talks to us and how it really taps into some of that hidden stuff that we don't always know. The mysteries of life. And it teaches us one by one by all of the symbology. It teaches us one by one about how we can accomplish better for ourselves. So allow the hermit this month to guide you to find your inner strength, uh, to become aware of life's natural rhythms, and as well as to take time to seek solitude, to be with your own thoughts, your own energy, 
I'm seeing a lot of people right now, especially in the spiritual world, having breakdowns. And I urge you, I urge you spiritual people, go back to the basics. Go back to the basics. Remember who you are. When we're helping people, when we're um, offering our healing services, when we're doing this, it can be too, a lot. It can be a lot, lot, lot. But don't worry. You got this. You got this. You're stronger than you imagine. So get back to yourself. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I will be uh, talking about February, uh, probably about a week or so. We're coming up on February. We're coming up on Inmilk. And we'll talk about that. I'll talk about Inmilk and, and what the card of that month means. Uh, can you imagine or do you know what that card would be what card would come next well what is two plus eight yeah all right so go find that out go read about that go find the tenth major arcana card i'm not going to tell you what it is uh go find it go read about it um and come back and join me and we'll talk more about this later many blessings and i will see you next time